SDS Weather has a mission with Cyclone Port and Radar Omega to gather as much data as we possibly can and in order to help present it to the public in order for them to conduct their mission or just to safeguard their family, buildings, property, and everything else that they want to keep safeguarded from any severe weather patterns and conditions. We have found over time that our biggest sector of industry is the local EMAs. Emergency management is a vital source of information for all of the public within their county and greater within the, the state districts. What we have done with EMAs is we work really closely, not only to present them with the tools that they need, but also include them in the process of what we develop and how we use our technology to grow. So we use Radar Omega in our EOC and then all of our operations people in the field utilize it. Our 911 center also utilizes it and it helps us prepare our first responders when they're out in the field, uh, when we are expecting or um, even when we're not expecting severe weather. In the past, uh, we've got all our information from the National Weather Service out of Jackson. You know, there was no really local instant data that we had access to. The majority of our weather comes in from the west, so it's going to be, man, it's going to be so nice to be able to pan that camera to the west whenever we have an approaching storm system, and I mean, we'll be able to see the weather way before it gets to us. The radar stops in Nashville and it only reaches a certain part till we get picked back up again. And so that was the main thing that we had. The localized data that we get, we're such a rural area for the Upper Cumberland. We need something live and data driven to be able to get us the information we need in real time. A lot of the questions that we get when we're starting the conversation with emergency management folk and really everybody at large is they don't know how easy the process really can be once we really drill into it. We need power and we need internet. Everything is unique. All projects, all sites, counties, they have their own problems and things to deal with. So we come up with a solution together. So the installation and implementation, I will say, has been flawless and simple. Managing emergency departments, I deal with a lot of electronic systems and the team has just been able to rock it out. I mean, they had, you know, two sites up in the first day, next day move to the next site. The pace that they're moving at and getting it up and going and live has been phenomenal. And, and know if there are issues, they're working them out on the fly. So they've been great to work with. We talked initially about the, the lightning detection when, when we first came on board with you guys. I know we were talking to Mike and, and, the, and the team about kind of what we needed from a from a university standpoint, it's more so as it related to athletics because we, we certainly have to track lightning and strikes for that. We did our first game this year, we had a lightning delay and it limited our delay time to only 30 minutes. Whereas in the past, our delays were by zip code and sometimes we had our fans sitting in concourses for 90 minutes, two hours. It was great to have that this year where we could pinpoint that location. We could look at the direction the, the system was heading and knew that it was going away from us. So we were gonna keep everybody safe and we had everybody back in their seats in 30 minutes. So certainly from a safety standpoint, it's helped out from there, but certainly a customer service uh, features uh, been an added bonus as well. All of the micro data that gets collected at each individual site can be seen by anybody on our Radar Omega software platform. All of that micro data, all that live streaming footage, you can tap into any one of our Cyclone ports at any given time to see what's happening there in real time. And then it helps to create the bigger picture all across the country so that people understand how weather patterns are developing, where they're going, and what's going on within them. The people, once they see it, they kind of grasp onto it. So they're asking questions and they become kind of, I'm a weather nerd, so they become weather people at the same time. And so they can hear about it on the weather channel, they can see about it on local news, but in real time, you're able to see what they're actually talking about. Being able to put cameras, saving communities, watching the EMA and even the EMS and hospitals have input and saying, hey, what's actually going on? They can talk back and forth has been really big for not just our coalition, but the others across the state as well. It's really cool to see the flexibility that we have at SDS Weather with all of our hardware and software that can help people with multiple different missions all at the same exact time. I'm not a very tech guy, so I was surprised on how, how much information is at the fingertips through the software, being able to navigate it, being able to hone in on certain points and then zoom out and, and kind of see the, the broader picture. I think how simple it is, user-friendly, I don't think I've even scratched the surface as the amount of information I can pull out of the system. 
Well, I think the tracking feature, because we're not, you know, we're amateur meteorologists, I, I like to say, uh, but really that, that feature has, has been neat because you, you, you see it on the news and you see the real meteorologists using it. And, and to get to to get to have that at your fingertips and get to get to experience that and and really kind of learn as you go with with, with, with some of some of the, the the tools that it has uh, that that's been really cool for us and and uh, really an added bonus. And when you start to play with the system and you start to actually look at the cameras and look at the app, you're able to find so much that you're not able to find on other apps or other weather systems. And EMAs or local people even use other things to try to find their weather for that for that day or that week and Radar Mega is well well beyond that with others. If I had to say what makes us unique is that we have a passion for getting the job done as fast as possible. We uh, don't process our information. We don't smooth it out, make it look pretty. We just, we want that data in the hands of the people that need it in order to react and, and, and safeguard their people as fast as possible. Radar Omega is utilized in our EOC on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's uh, continually one of the few things that stays up um, functioning all the time around the clock. And then it's our go-to when we have a weather uh, event or when there's a predicted weather event. Uh, weather is very important, and for sure on a university campus where you have uh, a thriving student life, you have a thriving athletic, venues so so weather can impact all that so being prepared having information to make decisions on what we can and can't do is very important to you.